Hi, this is Sudhir. This is assembly's tutorial. An assembly is a logical unit of functionality. That means if you want to deliver a logical functionality, the output deployable format is going to be assembly. It can be a .dll or a .exe. In .NET, when an application is compiled for the first time, the source code will be converted into MSL code. And that MSL code will be stored in a format of assembly. So CLR requires assemblies to execute. Every time when you build an application, you are going to build an assembly which can be a .exe or .dll. So assemblies are also known as deployable files. For example, .exe or .dll are known as assemblies and which are deployable files. exe stands for executable file, whereas dll stands for dynamic link library. exe is a self-executable file. That means if you double click on the exe, it is capable of executing by its own. But if it needs some other functionality from a DLL, it will be consuming it from the DLLs. Whereas DLLs are supportable files which acts as which gives some functionality to the EX applications, but they cannot be executed by itself. So that is why EXs are called self-executable files, whereas DLLs are called supportive files. There are two types of assemblies. One is private and the one is public. Private assemblies are also known as local assemblies. Public assemblies are also known as shared or global assemblies. Coming to private assemblies, these assemblies has to be copied along with the project because private assemblies are not placed in a global location. So what we have to do is, if an assembly is copied into the every application in which we want to use the assembly, then it is known as public and then it is known as private or local assembly. Private assemblies cannot be used without copying them in the project. That means every time when you want to use a private assembly, you have to copy them into that project and you have to use it. But public assemblies are different. You have to copy the assemblies into global location, which is called GAC, GAC location will be there, which is at the end you have, I have given that C windows assembly. That's a physical location of GAC. You have to place this DLL into that location and it can be, then it can be used by multiple applications. But what you have to do is you have to use the reference of this DLL into that application. So when .NET Framework is installed in your computer, assemblies which are shared by multiple applications will be installed in that GAC location. If you want to see that already existing global, global or public assemblies, you have to go with C Windows assembly. And if .NET Framework was installed in that system, the DLLs will be present in that GAC location. So now coming to the contents of assembly. In every assembly, some contents will be present. Assembly contains metadata and MSL code. You know that if a source code is executed after the first time compilation, it is converted into MSL and it is present in an assembly. In that assembly, also with MSL code, metadata will be present. This metadata, what is metadata means? Data about data. That means the DLL information will be present inside the DLL in metadata. So metadata contains three things. They are manifest, type metadata, and resources. So let's go in detail about what is assembly manifest, type metadata, and resources. Assembly manifest means it contains information about assembly name, the version, and the security, the basic information required to use the DLL, like version, security key, and assembly name will be present in assembly manifest. The second one is type metadata. It gives an information about all the data types and all the types which are used in the source code of that assembly, which is especially used for memory allocations when that the assembly is executed. And the final one is resources. If any external resources are used in the assembly, that information will be maintained in these resources. And for example, if some multimedia files, which is an external file which is used in assembly, that information will be maintained in the resources. This is how information will be maintained in this. Thank you.